Good evening and welcome to the news. Uh, the former head of uh, the Defence Forces, Leopold Payet, uh, has been released from custody. The Chief Justice of the Supreme Court ruled yesterday that Mr Payet had no case to answer. Chief Justice Ronnie Govinden said that the prosecution had uh, not uh, built a prima facie case against Mr. Payet and that he was acting within his duties at the time. The retired former brigadier was arrested in December 2021 on the illegal possession of arm, of firearms case that also involved businessman Mukesh Valabji and his wife. There are two other persons involved in the case. They are former senior officer of the Defense Forces, Leslie Benoiton, and the former head of the Presidential Security, Frank Marie. The remaining four accused will appear in court again on Thursday. During a meeting uh, between President Wevel Ram Kalawan and Chinese President Xi Jinping, the two leaders discussed on ways to strengthen the cooperation and friendship between the two countries. President Ram Kalawan said that during the meeting, they spoke on mutual benefits that will help to bring the relations between China and Seychelles to the next level. This meeting forms part of the forum on China-Africa Cooperation, FOCAC, that is being held in Beijing from the 2nd to the 6th of September. President Trump Kalawan is accompanied by the Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs, Sylvester Radegon, First Lady Linda Ram Kalawan, and the Seychelles uh, Ambassador for China, Anne Lafortune. Some farmers are learning about hydroponics with experts from the Quest uh, International University of Malaysia. Hydroponics is not a new method of crop production, but revolutionized and modern, considering the limited amount of land for conventional agriculture and to the fact that it also reduces pollution and reduces the usage of pesticides. The farmers are expected to learn about the different types of hydroponics, the materials and equipment used to set up this system, how to solve problems associated with hydroponics, and more. There are approximately six farmers practicing hydroponics so far in the country. Chinese cabbage, lettuce, tomato are examples of crops produced by this type of technique. The official opening of the two-day training was held at the Crop and Research Center yesterday. The training also was also online for farmers who couldn't attend physically. Nicholas Go is from the Quest International University and Flavien Joubert, the Minister for Agriculture. That's why we're here, to make sure that uh, the expertise are around so it becomes sustainable. Because it's an investment, yes, it's correct. And like any business, the investment. I believe your country, the ministry is looking into that, how they can help those interested farmers. Uh, this event symbolizing not only, symbolizes not only our commitment to advancing agriculture and Seychelles, but also our dedication to building a more sustainable and resilient future for our nation. Our new agricultural sector strategy emphasizes the need for innovation and modernization to meet the ever-evolving challenges of our time. High-tech agriculture, including the techniques we will really explore in this workshop, such as the hydroponic, holds the potential to re revolutionize the way we produce food in Seychelles. These innovations are designed to enhance productivity, optimize resource use, and ensure that our agricultural practices are sustainable and also environmentally friendly. The National Platform for Non-Governmental Organizations, SEPS, is encouraging board of directors of private, private and public entities, as well as higher office bearers in the government, to undertake a formal handover when their mandate expires. Yesterday afternoon, at its office at the Orion Mall building, SEPS organized a ceremony 
where its former chairperson, Françoise Daru, officially handed over the organization's files uh, to her successor, Dr. Odile de Kumamo, who was elected in July. This is the first time SEPS holds such a ceremony since it was established 10 years ago. SEPS CEO Alvin Laurent says he hopes this will help to strengthen democracy in the country. This is a very important event for us, the civil society sector, Citizens Engagement Platform Seychelles, because the outgoing board is now handing over to the new board all the important aspects of SEPS, be it the projects, the various documents, the various term of reference, the monetary aspects, the manpower aspects. Why? Because we want to ensure continuity. Often we see that ministries are undergoing changes. We have changes at national level taking place, but we do not see a proper handing over taking place. Then we hear that certain documents are missing, certain files are missing. So this is the importance of this event, to ensure that publicly a handing over is done with all the required information to ensure continuity with space for the new group to also bring innovation into the work. In our civil society, we're taking an initial step to do this because we want it to be an example for other associations to follow as they hand over with new executive committees. We also want it to be an example for the government so that they have the possibility to do it publicly, handing over monetary aspects, projects, documents to new ministers when they're coming in, and at the same time, at the highest level, when the president, whenever there's a change in president, regardless if it's in the same party, a proper handing over is done, where public are also aware what exactly is being given, so that people know where exactly their contribution is going and where they have hope to bring in more contribution for the future of the country. The U.S. Embassy organized a visit this morning on board the USS Herschel Woody Williams, which is docked in, uh, Port Victor in the Victoria Harbor since last Saturday. Their visit uh, is for a routine port call for change of personnel and other logistical support uh, operations. It was Captain Michael Concannon, U.S. Navy coming officer, who guided the tour and explained some of their operations and missions. Brigadier Michael Rosette had the opportunity to give an update on the Operation Prosperity Guardian in the Red Sea, which Seychelles is part of.